Assalamualaikum and a very warm welcome to Bridges. I'm your host, Rafi Abdul Malik. As usual, we have Dr. Naji Al Faj joining us in the studio. Assalamu alaikum, Doctor. Wa alaikum salam wa rahmatullah. Thank you for joining us in the studio. Sure. Thank you. Well, I guess we've been on a long journey together. We've actually been discovering, you know, what is Islam, how to build bridges. We've been looking at Christianity, Judaism. We've been looking at all the religions. We've been looking at who is Allah. What is the Quran? Who is Muhammad? We talked last time in depth about all these issues. But let's go right into the depth of it right now and let's take a look. What are the pillars? You know, what, what is the faith of Islam? Doctor, you know, as last time we were talking about all these issues about Muhammad, who is Muhammad, we figured out everything about Muhammad, the Quran, all the noble things that we have in the Quran, you know, inshallah, God bless everything. However, Doctor, I want to take this time to talk about the pillars of faith. And I know from your extent research that you've done, you're going to give us something, you know, which will, you know, enlighten the faith of Islam. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. Mm. All praise is due to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. May Allah guide us all to his straight path leading to him. Amen. We talked about God, the true one. Mm. We talked about the prophets, mm. Adam, Noah, okay. Abraham, Moses, Jesus. And finally, we talked about Muhammad sallallahu <laughs> We talked about the Quran, mm. its beauty and its purity. Mm. Now let's talk about the major articles and pillars okay. which a person might like to know before he or she becomes a Muslim. Great. Those who are interested, mm. those who are coming more convinced yes. that Islam, submission to Allah, is the true, it is the true religion of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, uh -huh. they might ask, what is next? Exactly. What can I do? Here we go. In this, in this episode, I will, disc I will discuss, inshallah, the articles of faith in Islam. Great. So what are the articles of faith in Islam? Let's find out. A Muslim, mm -hmm. a Muslim or a person who would like to become a Muslim mm -hmm. must believe in the following. The first one, believe in Allah. Mm -hmm. We have to believe, or the person who would like to become a Muslim mm. must believe in Allah as the only true God to be worshipped alone. Yes. He is not to worship others besides Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Okay. Just Allah alone. Mm. Jesus, Brahma, Shiva, Krishna, Vishnu, you name it, other gods, other so-called, yes. let me say, other so-called gods or deities of course. are not to be worshipped, mm. but Allah, the one. So what you're saying, Doctor, is so admit only one God, Allah. Don't believe in any other God apart from Allah. Great. This is the first and the most important article yes. in faith in Islam. Yes. This is the article number one mm -hmm. of faith in Islam. So those who would like to become Muslims, yes. first they should, they should, they, they actually must believe and say, Ashhadu an la ilaha illallah. Yes. I bear witness that there is no God worthy of worship except the true one. SubhanAllah. Doctor, I know definitely where you're coming from because when I actually reverted to Islam, this is what, you know, the, the first thing we had to learn from the heart, to believe in one God. SubhanAllah, Doctor, it's, it's so surprising. We will discover more, inshallah, mm. uh, more about his attributes, inshallah. his qualities. Mm -hmm. But let me go to the articles in more focus. Yes. You know, just let me focus more on the, the six articles, mm -hmm. and then I will go to the names and attributes of the one true God. Great. Number two, believe in his angels. Mm. <coughs> Islamically, we are supposed, we are to believe, we, are, we, we must believe in the angels of God. Okay. That Allah, the true one, the creator, created angels mm. to do certain jobs and certain tasks. Sure. For example, we have Gabriel, the, the angel Gabriel, mm -hmm. Jibreel, 
alayhi salam. We call him in Arabic, Jibreel or yeah. Gabriel. He is given the, the, the mission of revealing the revelations to prophets. Yes. There are angels just remembering Allah all the time. Subhanallah. All the time, remember the, they remember Allah. Glory be to him. Subhanallah, alhamdulillah, yes. la ilaha illallah. They remember him, saying glory be to him, praise him. Mm -hmm. There is no God but the one. Subhanallah. There are angels taking care of people. They record down, mm -hmm. they write down what we do. Mm -hmm. There are angels there recording down Mashallah. what whatever we do, whether good deeds or bad deeds. Okay. There are angels in, in charge of, you know, other things. Mm -hmm. Just Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala commissioned them, go, do this, they do it. SubhanAllah. They worship Allah, they are submissive to Allah, obedient to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We have an angel for death, yes. seizing souls. Mm -hmm. So there are several, several angels Allah knows best about their numbers and could we say these are helpers of Allah but we don't we don't pray to them they are just helpers that we have to believe in the angels sure. like servants mm, yes like the messengers yes. like the the prophets mm -hmm. they are sent to to do certain jobs yes. Yes. a third article believe in his revelations this yes. is the third article believe in his revelations what does that mean Take a look, Doctor. It means that a Muslim must believe in the revelations of God sent to his prophets and messengers. Yes. For example, we believe in the revelations given to Abraham. Mm -hmm. We believe in the revelations given to Moses okay. called Torah. Mm -hmm. We believe in the revelations given to Jesus. Mm -hmm. It's called Injil. Mm -hmm. And also we believe in the last revelations, the last message okay. given to the Prophet Muhammad وسلم, which is the Quran, the glorious Quran. Mm -hmm. However, we, as the Quran tells us, the Quran clarifies, mm -hmm. tells us the whole truth, yes. that some of the revelations which were sent to the other to the to the other messengers mm. like Moses and Jesus they have been distorted mm -hmm. updated yes. what they have now it's not the original text they are not anymore the original revelation mm. as it was as it was revealed mm -hmm. by God mm -hmm. to those prophets and we can we can trace that if we, if, we, if we go to read the Bible, yes. if we study the Bible critically and objectively, you and I and those who, who are interested in this kind of study, they can find there are many contradictions and many problems here and there. Yes. Why? Because man, man has changed the word of God. Actually, this is evident in the Bible itself, the Bible says, in Jeremiah 8.8, 8, mm -hmm. how can you say the word or the law of God was with us? How can you say that the law of God is with us? Me. Behold, the false pin of the scribes have turned it into a lie. Uh -huh. In another version, it says, dishonest scribes have changed it. Mm. This is in the Bible. SubhanAllah. The Bible testifies that it has been changed. Mm. Go to Jeremiah 8.8. 8. Yes. The Bible or the law, mm -hmm. the word of God has been changed by dishonest, by dishonest mm -hmm. scribes or the false pen has turned it into a lie. There are many other verses, yes. but this is beyond the scope of yes. this program. Mm -hmm. For those who are interested, I can send them more information on the errors 
you know, Jehovah witness, Je some of the Jehovah, Jehovah witnesses, mm. they say that there are 50,000 errors in the Bible. Yes. 50,000 errors That's in the Bible. Mm -hmm. So this is their business. Yes. This is not our business, no. but we have to clarify the truth. Yes, we, we have to be honest. Mm -hmm. We believe in the original message. Mm -hmm. We believe in the original message of the Bible that which was sent to the prophets themselves. But what is the original text? Yes. Give me, show me, please, the original text. You know, according to, the, to, according to some scholars, in Christianity, they say there are 24,000 copies or manuscripts okay. of the Bible. There are no two of them which are identical. There are no two identical copies. You have, you know, the different Bibles, mm, yes. different versions. Mm. King James Version, International Version, Good News Version, mm. you name it. There are many, many. I have, I have good collection of those Bibles I brought I with me I from the United States. Great, Doctor. The point is, though, people may say to you, okay, Doctor, you, you're focused upon the Bible. You say there's different versions of the Bible. Is there different versions of the Quran? Quran has only one text. Mm. It is the original text yes. in Arabic. Mm. Anyone can check for himself that this is the original text. And yes. you can find the original text, the Arabic original text, in different places, in different international museums. Hmm. You find copies of the Quran yes. in Turkey, in other places, yes. in international museums. So, for example, Doctor, if I was to take um, a, a Quran that was printed today, I'm reading it, and I, I, I discovered a Quran that was, um, you know, printed in 1700, let's say. It's exactly the same text, not changed at all. It, w it will be the same text yes. without any change. Sub Subhanallah. Subhanallah, Doctor. So what you're actually saying, it never changes. That's fascinating finding. We'll continue on talking about the pillars of faith after the break, Doctor. Well, stay tuned. We're just going to take a quick break. After the break, we'll continue our discussion on the faith of Islam. Salam alaikum. Salam alaikum. And a very warm welcome back to Bridges. Before the break, we were discussing the pillars of the faith. Let's continue, Doctor. We were talking um, previously before the break about the pillars of faith. We were talking about, you know, believing in God, believing in the angels and believing in the books. Let, let's take a look further at the, the you know, the, the faith. Bismillah. Alhamdulillah. The articles of faith in Islam. Mm -hmm. So these are the articles of faith. The first is believe in Allah, okay. the true God. Mm -hmm. So a Muslim or, or those who would like to become Muslims, they must believe in Allah alone. Okay. Number two, we have to believe in his angels. Mm -hmm. Allah created angels to serve him mm -hmm. and to do certain jobs and functions for him according to his will. Number three, believe in his revelations mm -hmm. and this is another important article in Islam we believe in all the in all the revelations mm -hmm. sent to the prophets and messengers of Allah yes however we mentioned that we have some reservation yes. on some holy books mm -hmm. which have been changed according to the books themselves which testify that they have been changed by dishonest scribes. So we have to believe in the Quran as the last, as the last revelation. The Quran is in Arabic and still as it was, still intact mm -hmm. without any change. Millions of people, millions of Muslims actually, millions, millions of Muslims memorize the Quran from cover to cover. Mashallah. This is another miracle yes. that we can find millions who memorize the Quran from cover to cover. By the way, some of them do not speak Arabic. Like, you know, some brothers and sisters uh, from Pakistan, from India, from yes. Indonesia, from other countries, they from China, from other countries. Mm. But subhanAllah, Allah gave them the ability and the power to memorize the whole Quran in Arabic from cover to cover, mm -hmm. and sometimes even without 
knowing the meanings of their words mm -hmm. or, or the words of the Quran unless they go to the translation yes. in their own mother tongue. Uh -huh. Number four, believe in his messengers. Okay. A Muslim or a person who would like to become a Muslim must believe in all the messengers of Allah, including Adam, Noah, Abraham, Moses, John the Baptist, Zechariah, Elijah, M Jesus, and finally Muhammad, peace be upon them all. It is an article of faith, thus, that we have to, we have no choice. Mm. I am a Muslim. Yes. I have to, as a Muslim, I have to believe in Moses. Okay. I have to believe in Jesus mm. as, a, as a prophet, mm. as a messenger. Mm. We do not hate them. Of course. We do not say, no, 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 I don't like Jesus or I don't like Moses. On the contrary, of course. it is an article of faith to believe in all God's prophets and messengers. But they have and we have to believe in the last prophet, yes. the last messenger. Who is he? Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. He is the last messenger. Number five. Belief in the last day. We can learn from this article that this life is not the end of the story. Mm -hmm. It is just a short temporary, li temporary life yes. for testing us, testing our faith and our deeds. Mm -hmm. Are we following the good, straightforward faith, yes. the correct faith, or other you know dogmas or teachings okay do we good do we do good deeds mm. or bad deeds mm. those who go on the straight path obeying god following his commandments they will go to paradise jannah eternal eternal life on the other hand those who deny allah they reject his word refuse to apply or to do his his will uh -huh. they will go to the other side the hellfire may god save us all from the hellfire Inshallah. number six believe in destiny muslims must believe that allah has control over if all things everything allah controls everything and he knows everything so it is according to his will and according to his knowledge. Mm. Whatever happens to me, it is from him. Yes. He knows about it before my creation. So we believe in destiny. Yes. Whatever going to happen to us, it, yes. it was written from the beginning. Yes. So we cannot, we should not, we should not despair. We should not give up. We should not feel so sad. No. We should not kill ourselves no. or feel depressed. Whatever, whatever comes from God as a disaster, a death of a friend or a relative, yes. be patient. This has been written from the beginning. Mm -hmm. If you are poor, if you are rich, if you are sad, if you are this or that, you must know that it is from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. SubhanAllah. Doctor, you really touching upon crucial points there you know personally to me this this statement we've talking about the pillars of faith has opened my heart certainly because these are the things that i learned allah knows your destiny already mm -hmm. i was destined to be a muslim allah saved me to to be you know inshallah if i do god's work well then inshallah i will go to heaven uh, doctor you know the thing that i want to stress upon the things about being sad is from Allah. If you know we have a family death, you say alhamdulillah, alhamdulillah, be patient, like you said. And I can certainly, certainly agree with you because I've lived in both the West and I'm living in the East right now. And you know, every day I say alhamdulillah because I'm a Muslim. Great, alhamdulillah. This is through the will of Allah subhanahu wa taala. He chose us. He he, ch he chooses whom he likes. Mm -hmm. If he if he likes one person or one 
you know, brother or sister, you say, you, brother, you, sis, you come. Allah loves you. Allah chooses you to go and believe in him. How, you know, there are millions of, millions of people who are lost, mm -hmm. who are going astray, knowing nothing mm -hmm. about the one true God. Let me please go to the first article with more details. Okay, great. Because it is, number one, mm -hmm. it's so important. Yes. Believe in Allah. Muslims or those who would like to become Muslims, we have to believe in Allah. Mm -hmm. Who is Allah? Let's, let's know more about yes. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So Allah has names and attributes, other names, reflecting other you know, qualities okay. concerning him. He is subhanahu wa ta'ala, Allah. This is his proper name, mm. his special name, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. I mentioned this before that even Jesus, mm -hmm. in Hebrew they use Elohim, mm -hmm. Aluluya, Eli, 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 Eli. We can trace this in the Bible too. Hebrew and Arabic use similar terms or words to refer to the true God, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Jewish and Christian Arabs use Allah too. Mm -hmm. Yes. In Egypt, in Lebanon, in other countries, in Jordan, everywhere. I mean, Arabs everywhere use Allah to refer to the true God. How about other or another beautiful attribute, mm -hmm. great quality? He's the most merciful. Subhanallah. Allah is the most merciful. Ar Rahim, Subhanallah. Ar Rahman, Ar Rahim. He is the compassionate. He is so compassionate. Yes. So if we make mistakes, don't worry. Just repent. Yes. Go back. Go back to him. He is the compassionate. He is the one and only, subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah is the sovereign. Mm -hmm. He is the sovereign. He controls everything. He is the king of kings. Allah is the sublime holy. Mm -hmm. He is the ultimate holy. Allah, he's, he's Allah, the Almighty. Mm -hmm. Allah is the Almighty. The Creator. God is the Creator of all. Allah is the Maker. He is the one who made us all. Magnificent. Allah is the Shaper. He is the Shaper of all things. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the judge. He is the ultimate judge. Mm -hmm. Allah is the just. He is so just. Allah, the true God, is the all-knowing. And He is the all-hearing. He is the all-seeing. Subhanahu wa ta'ala. Glory be to Him. He is the all-aware. And we have to be aware mm. that, is Allah, that Allah is aware about what we are doing. Whatever or anything that we do, mm. we have to be aware that Allah is all-knowing and all-seeing. At the end, I would like to conclude with this beautiful attribute. He is the all-forgiving. He forgives all sins. He forgives all sins. If we go back to Him, if we repent, we say, Astaghfirullah. Astaghfirullah, I seek your forgiveness. Oh God, forgive me. Yeah. Allah will forgive all our sins. Alhamdulillah, alhamdulillah. Thank you very much, Doctor. That's all we have time for right now. I hope to see you next time on Bridges. Well, thanks for watching the viewers. Let's take care. Until next time, Assalamu Alaikum.